Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, sorry I've not filmed in a little while. Um, it's probably been a week since I filmed a video. The last video that I have on here is actually, I believe, a hair care video. Um, but I just have been busy with things going on and so I've been busy with shopping. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, just kidding. I haven't really been shopping like that crazy. Um, today's video is actually going to be a haul. I know that's such a shocker to you guys. <laughs> I feel like I'm always doing hauls, but... Um, I don't know. I really enjoy doing hauls. I like showing you guys what I got, not like I'm bragging or anything. Um, it's also a good way. I watch a lot of hauls, like, a lot as well. Um, it's a way to find out, you know, different places, you know, kind of like giving you a review about my opinion about the product and if I like it. Um, maybe you'll like it too. I don't know. That's kind of what I think of as far as when I look at haul videos. Um, you know, if I happen to see a video or something, um... I don't know, it's kind of a, I don't know, I really just, myself, I really enjoy watching haul videos, um, so that's what today's video is going to be. Um, I'm going to try not to ramble because I have a tendency to just talk about everything in the nation other than what the video is about today, so um, I'm going to try, try to keep it short and also show you guys what I got. Um, not just today though, as far as this video is going to be like a couple days ago haul kind of stuff that I got in. Um, I just haven't shown you guys. I've just kind of been busy and my mind has not really been on making YouTube videos. Um, I watch YouTube videos like crazy, but like I said, I never really, I don't know, I never really got to making videos about this stuff that I got. But um, anyway, so I'm going to start. I have a bunch of stuff here to show you guys. Um, so this might be considered like a really long video. I don't know. I'm going to try to zoom myself back. Zoom. Ooh, that's too close. Try to zoom myself up so you guys can see my items. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys are actually going to be clothing stuff, and then I'll get to the other stuff that I have as far as like makeup and stuff. Um, these shoes I've actually had for a little while now. Um, like I said, some of the stuff that I have is kind of a collective haul, kind of all the stuff that I've had the past week or two, and I just haven't showed you guys, so I shared it with you. So these are some shoes that I got from Kmart. Um, they, I believe I got them for $8, but I think they're really cute. Um, they had a lot of other ones. Um, but these were just the only ones they had, of course, that were my size. If you guys do not know, and I have, like, huge feet. <laughs> They're really big. Um, these are actually extra large to 11 to 12. And I actually wear, like, a size... I can wear 12s, but um, either way, they have to be wide because my feet have tends to be wide. So um, if they're just, like, 11 mediums, they don't fit. So, But anyway, these fit really comfy, and I still have room in them, which is kind of what I wanted as well. Um, I don't know, and they have a cute little bow on them. And the bow actually it goes all the way around the end edge of the shoe. So, um, anyway, yeah, I think they're a good deal for $8, though. And I wear these, I don't know, I wear them to church. I kind of wear them with everything. I don't know, whatever. And I didn't own a pair of brown shoes either, so that's kind of why I chose brown instead of, like, black or something. Because I do own quite a few stuff that's brown. And, um, I don't have any shoes to go with it, so I went ahead and got these. But anyway, I like them. And the brand, I believe, is Route 66. So, anyway, I like those. Okay, so the next thing, I'll sit this down there. The next, thing, <laughs> the next thing I have to show you guys, it's really weird filming because I haven't filmed in like a while. And so it's so odd to be like on camera and me showing you guys what I got and my stuff and everything. So it's really sorry if I'm like awkward and everything. I'll try to snap out of it. But this skirt I got from Major Thrift and most all my clothing I got from Thrift Store. Um, I have, believe I have one item, but it's from um, Play-Dohs, I believe. Um, actually, my headband is something that's new, um, also my shirt's kind of new, and my undergarments are new too, so, um, I didn't, of course, obviously, because I wore it today, but I'll tell you a little about my headband, if you can see it. It has, like, uh, man, I don't even know if you can see, but it's, like, little flowers up here. It's kind of roughly up here, um, but it's, like, a headband, headband. <laughs> it's not, like, um, it's not furry or anything, it's kind of, like, a knit crochet kind of thing. Um, I got this from Plato's Closet and it was four dollars, which I thought it was actually gonna be like eight dollars, but I was really shocked how cheap it was. So I got this, and then my shirt—I don't even know if you can see it. I'll stand up so you guys can see. Um, if you can see it, it's got like a panther on it. I really like it. I don't know—it was a panther or a leopard. <laughs> I really don't know, but um, yeah, I really like the shirt. I actually got this from Major Thrift. So, and my scarf's not new or anything. I just. Thought I'd go ahead and wear it because I'm kind of going with a black and white theme with a little bit like, you know, my glasses have a red bow on them and my lips are red. So, kind of with the black and white kind of theme, but like with red too. So, 
that is what as far as my headband's new. And my shirt, I believe, was, I don't know, it was on sale, I think. It wasn't that expensive. And the brand's just Hanes. No, probably something's from, probably from Walmart or something. This jean skirt I got from Major Thrift. And I'm going to try to lean back so you guys can see. It's pretty long. I don't know. Um, this skirt is really weird. I have to tell you guys. Um, it, like when I tried it on and everything, it has a really weird... It almost, it has like a brand name on it, like what it says, but to me, it kind of reminds me of a skirt maybe that somebody made or something. I don't know, some reason to me, it just feels like something somebody made. I mean, it's not a bad thing that someone made it, but like, um, I don't know. It just feels really funky on me. I don't know even know if I really like it now that I've tried it on and stuff. And the back kind of flares out. It has like a pleat in the back. I don't know. It's kind of weird because it's like a denim. But yet it has like a metallic-y um, gold color to it. I don't even know if you guys can tell from the camera. I don't know if it's really showing you guys what color it actually is. But um, yeah, it is brown. And I think the pleat is kind of cute in the back. It has kind of like a mermaid um, design to it where it kind of goes, you know, around. And then it kind of just like, you know, it kind of comes out at the bottom. And it's like tight around the hips. I don't know. I just, I don't even know if it's like, I mean, and the reason I thought it would be okay is because 16 is usually bigger on me, and so it hangs like really low. Um, so I was thinking, you know, this could be so comfy and whatever. Um, it does, it does go on my waist and everything, but it's just the way it's designed is so much different than a normal 16 would be. I don't know. It just, it just looks really weird. And it's not even that it's like maybe tight or anything. It's just, I'm not, I don't know. I guess I'm not used to like clothing being tighter. So I guess to me it's like, you know, super tight, but I don't really think it is. I just, I don't know, I'm not really comfortable with it on me. So, I don't know. It, good thing it wasn't too expensive because I think this was like 75% off of $3.99. So, um, yeah, it wasn't too expensive, but if I didn't end up wearing it or whatever. But, I mean, it's still money, honestly. But, anyway, I do sort of like it. I mean, I do like the skirt. It's just I don't like how it worked out. I don't know. Um, the next thing I have to show you guys, this is actually from Aeropostale. This shirt is, yeah, it's from Aeropostale. But it just says, true love can wait. <laughs> um, it's funny because when I actually got this shirt, I was hesitant because, I don't know, it has to do with, like, the writing of what it says. Because to me, it's kind of a stupid, <laughs> like, I don't know, some reason when I hear that or when I read it, it was kind of a throwback to me. Like, um, I don't know. I just think it's, maybe I just don't understand what it's saying. But to me, it just sounds really kind of like, you know, true love can wait. Like, I don't know. I just, I just think it sounds really weird. But it just has Aeropostale on the bottom part. I do like things from Aeropostale a lot. Um, and this is really soft as far as comfy. Um, but that's just what it looks like. So, anyway. I like it, and I got this from Mage Thrift as well. Um, and then I have this shirt right here that I got from Mage Thrift as well. Um, this says, <laughs> um, I was kind of debating on getting this or not, but it just says Krabby on the front. <laughs> and then on the back it says, uh, but yet lovable. But um, anyway, this shirt's actually from the, on it, it says Walt Disney World. Um, and then it has just a Magic Kingdom on the side, Mickey's. I don't know if it says Phil of, Phil of Harm Magic, but that's just, it's just like a, you know, tee, t-shirt or whatever, but I think it's cute. I don't know. It has Donald Duck on the front. So, and this was really cheap. I think it was like 99 cents or something. So, then the next thing I got from the thrift store is this um, shirt, which is actually from Ralph Lauren, and yeah, Ralph Lauren, yeah. Um, my mom actually showed this out to me, and I wasn't even really going to get it, because, I mean, I like it. But I really try to avoid like striped clothing because they just they have a tendency to make you look bigger than you are because they're just like the really you know the really wide stripes. So if I do wear a striped shirt, I always try to get like a shirt that's like thin stripes, not like huge stripes, you know, across your chest or whatever. Um, but I thought this was cute. I don't know. I love when I went over and touched it. The material it's really soft and stuff. Um, it's actually almost to me like it reminds me of like a sweatshirt kind of thing, um, but it's not. I don't know. It's really, it's really kind of different. I don't know, but it has like these buttons on the side of the shoulder, and I really like that. I think that's cute. Looks like that. 
but I really like that. It's funny, I'm getting all these notifications on this on my tablet saying this comment, she commented on this and she commented on that. Um, I think this was $3.99. I don't know, did I really show you guys as far as what it looks like? It's just long sleeves, but I don't know. I really like it. I think it's pretty. I like the purple. And then I got this shirt. This shirt was actually from Plato's Closet, though. Um, and this is the only thing I got from Plato's, I think. Oh, wait, I do have jewelry from Plato's. Um, but I'll show you that too, of course. Um, this is just a brand so, um, and it just says New York, and then it has, it says the Big Apple, and I actually did try this on, so. Anyway, I really like this, and I believe this is in large, but, anyway, I like it, and it has just like, I don't know, it's not really core length sleeves. On me, I don't know if it's going to be, because my arms are super long, and like your shoulders and stuff, so I don't really, I don't know. I did try it on, but like I said, I don't remember actually how long the sleeves were. I don't know, I just like it, and it's super soft, and it's really comfy, so. And this I got from Play-Doh's, and I believe this was $4. But anyway, I just like it. Then, I have this, this is from a thrift store. I got this brown skirt, and the brand name is Rena Rowan. Rowan. I've never actually heard of that name before, but it's a 14. Because truthfully, 14 is actually my size. I just wear 16s, because 16s have a tendency to go like lower on my hips. I don't know, and I like things that I hang on my hips more than, like, things that, you know, go on your waist. But this is a skirt. It's just, like, a flowy kind of brown skirt. And I don't own a brown skirt. I own a lot of things that are black and stuff. And actually, for a while there, I was wearing my mom's brown skirt. Um, and I really love her skirt, this brown. <laughs> but um, I figured I'd go ahead and get this because, you know, I don't own a skirt that's actually my own as far as brown. So that way I don't have to be wearing hers. And I really do like this. It's a different style. Um, hers is still kind of flowy at the bottom. It had this has a different material. This is more silky actually on the bottom of it. Um, I don't know, but this I think was three nine nine and it was fifty percent off. I'm guessing I think it was, but anyway, I like this and you know, I can wear it with most any like shirt or whatever. Then I have these PJs, <laughs> actually sweatpants, um, and I got these actually from Walmart. Um, they're actually super comfortable because they're I got them actually. I wanted to get a bigger size. But they didn't have it, so I guess I figured these would work fine, and they do. Um, they look like they're super big, I know. But it's, that's what I wanted, though. I didn't want them to be, like, you know, skin tight. Because, <laughs> I mean, they are. I am wearing them in, like, PJs and stuff, to bed and stuff. So I wanted something that was super loose, and they're really long. <laughs> but um, they have, like, a soft, like, fuzzy, like, inlining in them. And I don't know if you can see. But it's just, like, a cotton. I don't know. It's really soft. It's really fuzzy. But anyway, I like these and I wore these actually to bed last night. Um, but anyway, I really like them. That's just kind of what they look like. Not really anything um, spectacular or whatever. But these are on sale. I think were $5. And they're Hanes. So anyway. They actually, on the other side, they had like the sweat, you know, like the shirts you could wear. But I just went and got those because I do actually own another pair of PJs. But they're not like soft and flake fuzzy. They're more like made for like summertime and for the most part, in summertime, I always wear, like, the, um, shorts or whatever to bed. So, then I have this, which is not really, like, necessary to show you guys or whatever, but I just figured I'd go ahead. Um, I picked me up a bra at Major Therapy. <laughs> so weird to talk about this. But, like, um, yeah, I was really needing to get more. So I went ahead and got this, and I like the, I personally like when there's two little notches, you know what I mean? Like, I hate those kind that just have one little notch on them, because it's like, they're not... I just feel like they're so rickety, like, that's not, probably not even a word, um, like, they're, like, I don't know what I'm looking for, they're not as stable, like, I feel like they break off so easy, but, so, I just feel like, they, like, these have more of a secure on them, so, um, I just went ahead and got a plain black one, and I had so much other bras in my hand, but I couldn't decide which one I wanted, and I couldn't get, like, all of them, because they weren't all on sale, that was two nine nine, I think, um, and the one I'm wearing right now, I absolutely love, <laughs> um, it's like a, I love those that are like a sport bra, but yet not like a sport bra. Like a sport bra, but it's built in with like padding, and it doesn't look the same. Like, yet you're wearing, you know, I you probably know what I mean. But like, I hate those that just don't have any support at all, and then it just looks like, you know, it's, you have no lift, you know what I mean? So it's just like, that's so awkward. But, um, like I said, I just really prefer the built-in ones, and so that's what I got. The one I'm wearing right now, I love it. I got it from Age Thrift, and I think it was $3.99, but it wasn't on sale or anything, but it's, like, my favorite. And also, too, I hate it when you have to, like, constantly pull on your strap. It's, like, the one I was wearing for a while there, 
I constantly had to do that and even it didn't matter like for some reason every time I try to make it smaller as far as it to not do that um it like works it way down and so I hated that so now I don't even have to do that with this one I'm wearing it just I love I love it <laughs> so anyway I got also some jewelry to show you guys um I have some makeup too and some hair stuff but I'll try to be quick with this but I got these earrings from Plato's Closet and I think they're super cute um for the most part I'm not like a dangly girl like dangly earrings and stuff um you know I have a couple here and stuff but I just like I'm not some reason I'm not into them anymore like I used to always be the person who wore like dangly ugh, dangly earrings and I have these I do like these but I just never like wear them I don't know I'm more into like um chunky earrings like the earrings I have on I got from Play-Dohs too I'm more into like chunky like earrings and so I thought these were super cute so I have these um I believe these were two dollars or three dollars so it's not really a bad price then I have these oops wrong earring um I have this earring right here which I got these actually I got from Charlotte Russ when we were in um yeah the mall I got these but I like I do have similar earrings to these but they don't have like a hole through them they just look like this so they are similar as far as the earrings but actually the coloring is a little bit different too Probably because these are actually older and these are new. So, but I don't know. I like these a little bit better. Then I got this ring, which I'm trying to remember where I got this from. Um, oh, I think I got this from Charlotte too. Charlotte Russ. I don't know how you say that, Russ. Some people I've heard say it rouge and there's no G on it. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really sure how you say it personally. I don't, I've always said Russ. And it's probably not even how you say it. But I, I got this ring as well. I really like it. Um, it's actually a 9, so it's a tad big on me. But um, I believe it was a dollar ninety nine. No, I got this in a thing where you get two jewelry for $10. Um, my mom got us an earring set, and I got, just got the ring. That's just what it looks like. I really like it. So I already have a ring on. But anyway, that's what I got as far as my jewelry. Then I'm just going to head on to the... Perfume right here I have to show you guys. This is Japanese Cherry Blossom. And I've had this for a while. I just figured I'd go ahead and show you guys it. Um, I actually didn't buy this. A friend of mine gave it to me. But I just love the smell. This is like my favorite smell. Um, it's Japanese Cherry Blossom. Um, I really like Exotic Cherry Blossom. But this one smells really good too. But I wear this pretty much like every single day. Um, I don't know. It's just like my go-to perfume. I don't know. Perfume, cologne, whatever you call it. Body spray. So, anyway, I really like this. Then I have this, which is what, this is not technically, like, new. Um, I just figured I'd go ahead and show you guys because this stuff is, like, my favorite. Um, so I have this keratin smoothing treatment. It's actually to, you know, blow dry your hair. You, I put this on my hair and stuff. So this is what I used the last time I blow dried my hair, which is, like, a couple days ago. Um, and this, I believe I got this for, for like, $4 or something. But it actually smells pretty good, too. So I use that for blow drying my hair. Heat protector. Then I have this. It's actually a lotion, I think. Um, and I actually got this in a set with perfume and a shower gel, and it's actually supposed to be like an, an impression of the Taylor Swift, um, Wonderstruck, and this is in the name Wonderful, but that's just what it looks like, and this smells really good too. Um, I actually have smelled the Wonderstruck before of Taylor Swift, and I love that stuff, and it smells really good, but this is just the, a little bit different than the Wonderstruck. It's supposed to be like a impression of, I guess, the way the bottle looks. I have the perfume. I'm not exactly sure if it's up there or not. But I've been wearing the perfume as well. It smells really good. But this is just a lotion. So that's what I've been using. I actually got that in a set. And I think it was like $3. And I got that from Dollar General, I believe. Okay, so next thing I have to show you guys as far as makeup and stuff. Um, I'll just show you guys the brushes that I have here. I have this e.l.f. stipple brush. Small stipple brush. I really love this brush. I use it for the most part whenever I do like concealer and stuff. Um, and I like to go around my nose with it. It just works really well as far as it's small and everything. And so that's just what it looks like. I don't know. I love e.l.f. brushes. These e.l.f. brushes. Not the other ones that are kind of like the... I don't know what it is. They're not really like the e.l.f. e.l.f. brush. This is like an e.l.f. e.l.f. brush. Um, the black ones are. They feel very sturdy. And I just... I don't know. I love them. And the hairs don't come out. Like, they just... I don't know. They're really good. And these are $3. I got this brush for $3. At Kmart, and this one, um, I've had this one for a little bit longer than I've had the stipple brush. I just actually got this brush, like, not too long ago. I really do like it. But I have this e.l.f. powder brush. Um, I have a dent in it. <laughs> I just got, like, a dent in it. 
but I love this brush. I use this for powder. Um, when I actually got it, I thought about using it for like foundation um, because I have seen those brushes before that are meant for like foundation that look kind of like a kabuki. This kind of looks like a kabuki brush, um, but I think they're smaller, the kabuki ones. But um, I had thought about using it for a foundation, but then when I got it, I thought, you know, I just use it for a powder brush. So I use this for whenever I do my concealer and stuff, and I take my powder, and I just go all over my face with it. It's super soft. I don't know. All e.l.f. brushes are really soft. Um, at least these ones that are actually, like, black. These are, like, awesome. Um, but this was $3, and I would definitely recommend it for anyone who wants to get e.l.f. brushes. Um, definitely get this one, and, you know, also the stipple brush, too. But anyway, I just really love e.l.f. brushes. So... And I'm definitely not like sponsored or anything. I just really genuinely love e.l.f. brushes a lot. Okay, so the next thing I have to show you guys is this powder from e.l.f. and this eyeliner from e.l.f. Um, I own a lot of e.l.f. stuff now. Um, I've just become like a fan about them. I don't know, I just started using a lot of the, the stuff. Um, this is e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. Um, I've gone through this stuff like crazy. Not exactly this one. Um, I go through the e.l.f. Translucent Powder a lot. But that's just what this one looks like. And um, it has like all of those four shades. It has the green, um, but I just kind of don't, I don't do them like, I don't put the powder on like individually ones, you know. I just kind of take it, you know, and fluff it all around and then put it on my face. Um, you can do the individually, like if you want to, like with a small brush, but I just don't do that personally. Um, but I don't know, I just use this as my powder now. I normally do use the translucent powder, um, but that day that I went to Kmart, they were out of the translucent, so I went and got this one. Um, I don't know, I really, really like this powder though, and this is $3 too. Um, for a while there I was actually using Wet n Wild powder, but I like switched my powders because this is like $3 and it's pretty much the same price if you were just to get the Wet n Wild. Um, I do think actually the, um, Wet n Wild to get more powder in it than the e.l.f., but I don't know, I just really, it's just whatever, ugh, it's just whatever one that you prefer yourself, so definitely use whatever one works for you. Um, then I have here a e.l.f. cream eyeliner, it's in, and this is in the shade, I just think it's black, just, you know, black. But it actually came with a little brush, yeah, it says black. I've used this quite a bit now. I've just been into wearing eyeliner lately. Um, it's weird because I do actually have a story behind me wearing eyeliner. I'm, I don't even know if I'm really going to tell you guys, but I'll make that another video if you want to see a video about that. Um, just a story that happened to me that was kind of crazy. But, um, lately I've just been into wearing eyeliner, so, um, anyway, this just works really well, and I've used this pretty much every single day now. But anyway, if you do like to know as far as what I'm talking about, then make sure you comment down below, and I'll maybe make a separate video. Okay, so I have here Baby Lips. I have another one too, but, um, that one's kind of old, but this one I, from Baby Lips, and this is just plain. It does not make your lips yellow or anything. This has just been one of my favorites. I use it, you know, chapstick or whatever, but I really do like this. It's very moisturizing. And this, I believe I got it for a buck or something. Most all my makeup I own, I either got on sale at one point. I don't ever buy makeup just straight up price. Because for the most part, it's pretty expensive. And, I don't know, I just find really good deals at, you know, certain places. So, for the most part, it's, most of it's, like, on sale. Um, then I have this e.l.f. concealer that I recently just got. And I do love this concealer. Um, this is in Fair. And it has a, you know, it's a duo for highlighter and under eye concealer. I used this actually today, but that's what that looks like. I'm really trying to make this video short, but it's turning out to be really long. But anyway, I told you guys it's going to be like a huge haul. <laughs> Whoops. But anyway, I really do like that concealer. Um, I think it was $3. Then I have this that I just got actually today. This is an Acne um, Fighting Roll-On Gel. Um, Silic Acid, I think. 2%. And I've never seen this. This was new at the dollar store. Um, I'm just going to try it. It might work better on those little small areas that I have as far as me breaking out. Um, so, anyway. Sorry, I feel like I keep, like, burping. Mm, excuse me. <laughs> but anyway, this is just an acne fighting roll-on gel. So I'm hoping this helps with... I don't even know if you guys can tell what that says. But, sorry about the lighting. It's so bad. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is... Oh my gosh. Like, everything is falling. Okay, so the next thing I have to show you guys is this concealer I just got from Walmart, and this is Rimmel, Rimmel London. For the longest time, I always said Rimmel, and I finally was just informed that it says, you know, it's Rimmel, Rimmel not Rimmel. So, this is in 2-in-1 concealer and highlighter, 
And I just actually picked this up at Walmart just like not too long ago because I just went to town. And this is in the color Fair. I'm really hoping this works for me. Um, I have the hardest time with just finding the right shade of like concealer or foundation. Um, so, um, also too, lately I've just been wearing concealer and just skipping foundation because I don't have breakouts as bad as some people do. So I feel like it's just better for me just to, you know, buy a really good concealer that I really love and also get the coverage that I want. Um, and my problem is just like it never lasts for me. Like I feel like I'm always running out of concealer or makeup in general. So I'm really going to try to use this sparingly and not use like get carried away with it because I don't know when I'll be able to get it again. Um, this was $4.97 at Walmart. So anyway, that's just what it looks like. So I'm hoping it also gives me pretty good coverage. Then I have this is Beauty Benefits Lip Gel. I just got this from the doll store. It doesn't even have like a name as far as the color. I just actually put that on my lips just a few minutes ago. But I really do like this. It smells really good too. Then I have these two eyeshadows I got from the dollar store. This is Perfection 10 and these are both from Perfusion. This is a 10 shade eyeshadow and this is a 5 shade eyeshadow. That's what this one looks like. I have swatched like all of them and they're really beautiful colors. They're really pigment. Tate. Pigment. I'm trying to think of what she told me to say. Because I have a friend of mine that told me how to say that word and I'm like now I just like forgot what it says. So I'm probably pigmented. Pigmented. I think it's what it says. They're really pigmented. Um, but this one is really pretty too. And they're all very pigmented. Okay. So anyway. Yeah, they do have shimmer in them. Slight shimmer. But they are really pretty colors. They're like neutrals which is something that I love. I don't like super dramatic like eyeshadow. Then I have... Um, these two Milani lipsticks, and this is in Uptown Mob, and this is Rose Hip. Rose Hip is like my newest shade that I got. It'd be really pretty for like spring and stuff, but that's what that color looks like. I like doing this, like putting this color like in the middle of my lips as like an ombre kind of look, and then you know the dark on the side. And it looks really pretty. And then this one's Uptown Mob, and I do love this color. I've used this quite a bit. It's really pretty. It's good for like winter and stuff, fall. It looks really pretty. And for the most part, I love Milani lipsticks. They're really good. And then I have this foundation, which I got from Revlon Photo Ready. And I have these two beauty blenders, and I have makeup wipes to show you guys. So, try to hurry this video. <laughs> this is Revlon Photo Ready Makeup, and this is in the color Ivory. This is actually SPF, yeah, SPF 50, no, SPF 20 in it. And I really actually do like this foundation. Um, it personally, it's like the only foundation I ever used that's like my color. It's so difficult to find foundation that's my right skin color because everything's always like too orange, too brown. You know, it always has like an issue with it. So this stuff is really good. I think it's going to be great for like, um, it has a pump to it, which is another reason why I really love it. Um, but that's just what it looks like. It's all messy because I've used it quite a bit. Um, but like I said, I don't really use foundation that much. I find, I find myself using concealer a lot more because I use it just for the fact of, you know, darkness underneath my eyes and you know blemishes or whatever I'm breaking out but as far as like all of my face like I hardly ever use foundation I will probably use this this would probably work better for me like in the summertime but um I don't know for the most part in like winter my skin has a tendency to be really dry so this is not technically good for winter time um definitely moisturize though before you use this stuff um, as well as obviously prime your face and stuff but anyway I do like it I do think it actually gives you pretty good coverage um, like I said though, I don't have like really bad acne and stuff, um, so I don't need like a lot of this stuff, but you can definitely make it full coverage if you were just to do like three layers maybe or two layers, depending on how bad as far as your skin or whatever. Um, but anyway, for me it's just kind of one layer because I don't suffer like some people do, so, um, anyway, I do think it gives pretty good coverage though. I do like that about it. Then I have these two beauty blenders. This, I believe I got both these from Kmart. I love these things. They're very squishy. At first when I got them, they were very hard. But obviously once I get them wet and stuff, they work perfectly. And this one's black and this one's pink. <laughs> you probably can't tell that now because pink is like all, you know, crazy because I've used it so much. But beauty blenders are like my best friend. I use them so much. And it's funny because I got this eye brush set. I have brushes, but I like never use them. It's crazy. So I just use beauty blenders and I just love these things. They were also $2.99 and they are originally $4.99 at Kmart, so I got me a deal there. And then I have this Makeup White um, Remover Cleansing Cloth and you get 20 of them. Um, they're from e.l.f. Studio and yeah, I like these. I've used these quite a bit actually. I probably have like maybe 15 left of them. But um, like I said, I believe I did a video about this, but I'm not sure. 
But actually, I don't think I... I don't know, I've had videos that i filmed that I just haven't, like, uploaded them. Um, just because they don't turn out the greatest. <laughs> so, anyway, and I think those makeup wipes were $3 at Kmart. So, I'm sorry if this video turns out to be, like, super long. Um, I really tried to make it short enough. But, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you liked all the stuff that I showed you guys. If you have any questions or comments or anything, make sure you leave those down below. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, also subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video, so bye guys!